Are you working in Microsoft Word and you want to create your own image? You don't want to look on the internet and find an image that everyone else is using. You want your own. But you don't know how to do that, you say. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really simple image that's really cool, and you're only using a few shapes. And if you stay with me till the end, I'm going to reveal a secret. Maybe two. So stick with me. I'm going to go to the Insert tab, Shapes, and I'm really only using four different shapes. I'm going to use an isosceles triangle, a rectangle, a moon shape, which you'll find in the basic shapes, and a circle. Starting with the ears, I'm just going to take this triangle, I'm going to reshape it to about where I think it needs to be, and I can always adjust this as I go. And I think I'll go ahead and try a different fill color for right now. I'm going to go with this gold. So on my formatting tab, you must have the shape selected. I'm going to choose a shape fill, and I like this gold color. And I do not want a shape outline, not at this point anyway. I can decide on that later. So again, under my format tab, shape outline, no outline. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this image. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Control C, Control V, and I'm just going to place it right next to the first triangle. I'm going to copy one more time and paste. And notice this icon right here, I can rotate the image. And anytime you have a two sided arrow, that is a resizing handle. And I'm just going to resize it a little bit, move it over. Now, the four sided arrow is a move handle. And I'm going to place it directly underneath my ears. I can resize it so it's about the same width. And we can adjust this later. Yeah, it looks a little funky right now, but it's going to come together. Now I'm going to take my rectangle, and I actually want this to be the same color as the ears and the face. So I am going to select the triangle on my Home tab, Format Painter. Notice that right next to my arrow is a paintbrush. And what we're going to do is copy the format from one image to another image. So now I'm going to click on my rectangle and now I have that same color. I could have just gone up to shape fill, done the same thing. This was a little bit quicker. So now I'm just going to position this under the ear and now it's getting a little bit hard to see my different shapes. So I think I will go with an outline and maybe a black outline. So again, with the image selected, go up to my format under Drawing Tools, Shape Outline, and let's try black. Or maybe I could do just the darker gold color. Or if we go to more outline colors, we could look at perhaps maybe a brown instead of a gold color. So you have a lot of options. Again, what I want to do is I'm going to apply this to each of my shapes. So I'm going to go back to my Home tab, Format Painter, and click on that one. Now I want to apply it to each of the shapes, so if I double click on the Format Painter, my paintbrush will stay on until I turn it off. So now I'm going to click on my rectangle, or actually that was my triangle, and now my rectangle. Notice that the paintbrush is still on, so I'm going to come back up to the Format Painter icon, click on that to turn that off. And I'm going to resize my rectangle to the width of one ear, pull it down just a little bit, and this is where you can decide how you want your fox to look. I'm just going to make it very basic. Now I need it, this is the leg, so I'm going to create another leg, Control C, Control V, and I'm going to place it right next to the first one. I'm going to resize this. 
There we go. Now, is this looking like a fox? It's not. This is where I need to pay attention to which images are in front of what image. So I want my face to come forward. I'm going to click on that, go to my Format tab, and I want to bring forward. Now, every time you click on Bring Forward, it will bring it forward one image at a time. And that's all we needed to do in this case. You could, so you may have to keep clicking on that, or if you click the down arrow, bring to front will automatically bring it to the front of however many images you may have. So we have two more things that we need to do with a triangle. I need to create a tail, and I want to make a little distinction between these two legs here. I'm going to just go ahead and copy this triangle, or we could go back up to Insert, Shapes, because I'm using a different color. And I'm going to draw out a small triangle, make that black, and I'm just going to bring that down here right between my two rectangles, so then the feet do not look so squared off. I'm going to take the face triangle, copy that, because I do want this same color, but I am going to make this a little longer, and I'm going to rotate it, I think like this. I want that flat on bottom. I'm just going to move this over. I'm just going to resize it. Woo, not that much. I'm going to bring this down, bring this out. I need to rotate it a little more. Now, that looks kind of silly, so I am going to send that backwards. Now, keep clicking on it until it's behind my rectangle leg here. And again, you can resize this, play with it a little bit. Okay, now I want some eyes and a nose. And let me just fix this ear right there. So I'm going to take this circle that I created, I'm going to move it right here, and notice that it goes behind my face, so I need to bring that forward. Bring forward, there we go. I'm going to resize it, put it right at the bottom of that triangle, and I want that black. So again, with my shape selected on my Format tab, here's my shape styles. I can quickly format it black, or again, I can go to Shape Fill, Shape Outline, and play with the coloring on that. I'm just going to make it black. Now, my eyes is just a moon that I'm going to rotate and give my fox a sleepy-looking eye. And I do need to bring that forward, so with that shape, my moon selected, bring forward. I'm just going to go ahead and click the down arrow and bring to front to automatically bring that to the front, make it black, that eye's a little big, so I'm going to resize it, copy it, paste, and I want to move it right next. That looks a little big maybe for some eyes, I could, and they're not quite lined up, so it kind of depends on the look you're going for. Now once you start working with smaller shapes or images, it does get a little hard to move. You might actually grab a resi uh, resizing handle instead of the move handle. So if I'm trying to move this, sometimes I'll start using the arrows on my keyboard instead of using the mouse. Then that gives me a little bit more control over where I'm moving these. I can also resize these by coming up to my ribbon under the format and changing the size here instead of trying to do it with the mouse. It gets a little difficult sometimes, so let's say I want the width to be 0.7. I can change my other one to 0.7, and then it's a little bit easier instead of trying to do everything with the mouse sometimes. So what we have now, what we created, was our fox. I think it kind of looks like a fox. What do you think? All right, so this is a pretty good looking fox, but there is actually a way that I can tweak this to make it look maybe even a little bit better. I'm going to play around with each of these images, and I'll start with an ear. 
I'm going to select an ear, go to my Format tab, and if you look in the Insert Shapes grouping, you'll see Edit Shape. Click that down arrow and Edit Points. Here is your secret right here. What this does is allow you to resize more places than just the move handle allows you to do. So if Fox's ear is really not very pointed, maybe what I want to do is round this ear off a little bit. All I have to do is place my cursor anywhere along the edge of the triangle and just play around with it. And I can actually give a little curvature to the ear. Now I'm not very creative. I can't draw. I'm not a graphic artist. So I'm just eyeballing this and seeing what I can do. Now you do have to do each shape individually. So now that I have that one, I'll just click away. Yeah, that looks okay. It, it takes away the sharpness of the triangle shape. I might do something similar to this ear. At least what I'm doing is making it more unique. So again, I'm going to go to my Edit Shapes, Edit Points. Again, anywhere you pull it along any of these borders. Maybe this is going to be a cockeyed little fox. There we go. I don't think foxes have a little point like that. But I'll just leave that be for now. How about the nose? I'm going to do something with the nose. Go back up to Edit Shape. I'm just going to pull the top up just a smidgen. Eh, maybe that looks okay. And what about the tail? Foxes kind of have a bushy tail. So I wonder if there's something that I can do here. Eh, I don't really know. I don't think they have such a wide tail. Whoops, I accidentally moved it. So I have to go back up to edit points. So what do you think? Does that look a little bit better? That is your secret right there to making the shape look even more customized is again on the Format tab, Edit Shape, Edit Points. Now that we are good with our new image, we need to group all the shapes together. This will make all the shapes work together as one. Grouping multiple shapes allows you to apply the same formatting and it's easier to move all them together. In Word, to select each individual shape, hold down the control key on your keyboard. As you're holding down the control key, click on each individual shape. Once you have them all selected, go to your Format tab. In the Arrange grouping, click on the Group icon, and then Group again from the drop-down menu. Hopefully you got them all. It may take you a couple of tries, especially working with the tiny little shapes that we have in there. Now the advantage is I can move all these shapes together. If I want to change a color, I can do that as one. I can also resize it and it stays together. All right, now we have this wonderful looking fox. Here is the second secret that I want to share with you. With your image grouped, select it, right click within the image, and save as picture. Now you can save it as a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. It's simply going to be an image that you can actually insert into other documents. Save it. And now it's an image. If I were to go to Insert, Pictures, and here it is as an image. And it actually allows me to do a little bit more formatting with it now than if I were to just keep it as a grouped shape. Now that I got you started, experiment, play around, and see what you come up with. And let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.